The visit is a highly anticipated one, postponed from last month. Talks over Ethiopia's Renaissance Dam have stalled since November. And Egypt is waiting for a reply to its request that the World Bank become a technical mediator to reach a solution. According to the Foreign Minister, the World Bank will join as a non-biased party to study the technical side of the Renaissance Dam and the effects of the dam on Egypt. This step proves Egypt does not trust Ethiopian intentions and we're back to zero, the pre-2015 agreement. Also, it's known that the World Bank doesn't fund any project on a river or water channel shared by several countries. On top of that, the World Bank was a major sponsor to the Nile Basin Declaration launched by Egypt in 1999. Haile Miriam de Selin is scheduled to meet his Egyptian counterpart. He will also give a speech in front of Parliament, the first from an Ethiopian Prime Minister. I expect he'll try to send a message of comfort to the Egyptians that there is no violation of Egypt's historic water share in the Nile. I think he'll also talk about the latest developments and whether negotiations will continue on a ministerial level or higher on a presidential level. 99% of Egypt's water comes from the Nile. That's why the public opinion is enraged with the slow pace of talks entering its fourth year. Many are calling for more stringent measures against Ethiopia. This is not a new issue. It's been going on for years, and there has been a huge negligence from the government. They should be punished, because the Nile is the source of life to Egyptians. The government is being very lenient in dealing with the Renaissance problem. This is a life or death issue for Egypt, and former president said it clearly that there should not be any tolerance with Ethiopia, and if it builds the dam, we can hit it. Sometimes it's wise to avoid war, but sometimes part of politics is to be aggressive and powerful. All we hear now is nice talk about friendships, but no serious action. In spite the calls by some for more aggressive policies, the Egyptian president, unlike his predecessors, has maintained that this conflict will only be resolved through talks and diplomacy rather than the use of force. Yas Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.